Hi guys, it's Nicole from the Physio Crew and I'm going to talk to you quickly about what not to do when you sign up for a charity event. So um, like myself, uh, last week I think it was, my husband and I were chatting, we were like, I haven't done anything for charity for ages, like what should we do? We saw this North Devon Hospice and we thought, right, that'll be the thing that we do this year. And, um, and what happens then is you kind of go into this mad rush of, oh my God, I've only got two weeks and it's going to be 10K, which isn't that far, but you do need to do a little bit of training for that. And, um, and the problem is, is that people, they just fly into it like really, really aggressively. And sometimes it's best not to do that. It's important to try and get your cardiovascular fitness up. So try and do um, some kind of cycle. So I'm doing a bit of sort of cross training at the moment. So doing it, horse riding, I'm pretty fit at anyway. I do that very, very regularly. But trying to do a little bit of um, running. And I've also been doing a little bit of plyometric stuff. So doing a video so you can easily get an exercise video just on YouTube just put in like 30 minute video 20 minute video that's gonna um, help you to build sort of strength but also the plyometric helps you with the sort of force contraction so things like jumping hopping mountain climbers so as a physio we're really interested in stability so hip control leg control but also looking at that explosive stuff. So you want to try and make yourself feel tired, but don't necessarily do every single day, pam, 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 all the time, especially if you've only got two weeks and you're not very fit. So, um, so rather than going out and saying, right, I'm just going to run like three or four 10Ks, think, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do um, a 30, because what the... the you're likely to get injured if you overload the muscle too much in one particular way or overload the tendon. So going and doing like five plyometric sessions all in one week, that's going to increase your risk of injury. Going and doing t three or four runs all in one week will increase your risk of injury if you're not used to doing it. So try and make sure, sure that you stick to the fit principle. So frequency, intensity, time and type. So frequency, you're already increasing the frequency that you're exercising. So what you don't want to do is just hammer one particular type of exercise exercise try and diversify it try and make sure as well that um, you know if you're sort of like me in my 30s fairly fit um, it's better to do a little bit to get your fitness up but not so much that you're pushing to the point of fatigue that you're going to get very very injured try and keep your food nice and constant increase your protein if you need to carbohydrate you know I said in this about pizza on Thursday Matt and I don't eat pizza very often Thursday night, got home really um, late and, um, and was coming back and I was like, oh, what's the easiest thing that I can get? I can't really be bothered to do anything. So I got a pizza, worst thing that I could have done and had the pizza, felt absolutely fine. Friday morning by nine o'clock, so I normally eat breakfast at like six, six thirty, something like that. Um, had my normal breakfast by like nine o'clock I was absolutely starving had my normal lunch mid-afternoon absolutely starving and I and I remember that's a frequent pattern when I'm eating lots of carbohydrates when I'm eating things like pizza a it makes me feel rubbish but also you then get this kind of um, this kind of lull from having that so try and make sure that you're doing the protein having um, protein shakes um, if, if you're used to having those um, be careful with protein shakes if you're not doing enough exercise though because my brother had a really um, funny experience as a teenager where he got really fat because he was eating loads of protein shakes but, or drinking lots of protein shakes but not actually exercising so remember you need to exercise um, and try not to eat pizza <laughs> if you can I mean it's fine as a treat but um, but if you're an athlete if you're going to be doing this charity run you want to try and avoid it so I am showing you through experience all the things not to do before a, um, a charity event like um, North Devon Hospice Mission Unbreakable um, the other sort of things to be aware of is make sure that you're using the correct shoes like don't go out like for example um, it was frustrating for me because it took me a couple of days to start doing my um, my running outside because I didn't have shoelaces um, I mean, I had shoelaces, but they, they, um, where my puppy had um, eaten them, I'd had to tie them and they weren't supportive. So don't just think, oh, it'll be fine. Like, actually make sure you go and get the right equipment so that you're reducing your risk of injury. Right, I must actually be at half eight. She hasn't arrived yet. I did say to anyone who's been watching the videos this morning, um, my patient, I saw her out on the town last night when I was having dinner. So who knows whether she will arrive or not. Um, all right, have an amazing Saturday. Everybody active every day. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye.